Hi everyone, I hope you're having a great day and welcome to the Holistic Health Show. Now there's a reason why we're running the show. We're just not going to talk about health, we're going to talk about wellness, we're going to talk about lifestyle and there's a reason that we're launching this show around honest foods in our country today. You see we have patients from around the country who come to us with cancer, diabetes, cardiovascular and all of that stuff. Our job is to help people make lifestyle changes and use food as medicine. Of course this means you still follow your doctors, you never stop your medication without your doctors involved but we have a bigger problem when we use food as medicine the next important thing is what kind of food what quality of food we all understand today our markets are filled with corrupt food with food that we're spending a lot of money on and we think it's healthy but it isn't we all know about pesticides chemicals in the food and the entire food chain of the country right now isn't the way it should supposed to be so if we are using food as medicine our next search and endeavor is finding Finding the right foods that people in our country should have access to it should be sustainable it should be environmental friendly and moreover that when we eat and digest that food it should work as medicine to help us prevent the onset of diseases if we're going through conditions it should help us in the possible recovery at the same time so over the next couple of shows you're gonna see us exploring different foods from across the country now over the last couple of months it's, it's actually been a year since we started reaching out directly to the farmers. We wanted to know why the good work that the farmers are doing. There are a lot of farmers in our country, a lot of people who are doing ethical foods, which means they are growing ethically, uh, ethically produced vegetables and products and all of that stuff. A lot of that never reaches us because the middleman in between basically wipes out the farmers with their high margins. And those products never reach us and the farmers stop producing those products or growing those products ethically because they don't have a market or they don't even share the profits. So we've been reaching out to all of those farmers across the country and we've been bringing them on a platform at our wellness markets which have been taken across India using a term called free trade now everyone needs to understand what free trade is free trade means the money that the farmers make on their products every rupee goes back to them you see today there's a middleman and they take margins and all of that stuff it's fair to an extent because you know there are shops and supermarket markets helping them with a platform to sell but when you look at free trade basically the farmer should have a platform where they can sell their products and all the money goes back to them giving them their livelihood motivating them to produce more because there's a market and that is the market that we want to expose to all of you that is the market we want everyone in our country to understand that that, hey there are so many good products in our own country I know so many people who fly down to the West to Europe to London to New York and they buy products from the US and bring it back into our country which is not a problem because they aren't aware that we already have these products in our country it's just that the farmers and the vendors don't have a platform to showcase it so we're trying to build that platform for them to showcase it and today when we look at the basic foods that people need for livelihood the basic foods we're gonna start presenting that to you now I want to be very very clear about this we've been looking around for these people we've been picking up brands I've been picking up certain brands that I like that I use personally my patients use in no way is this an endorsement for any brand in fact today you'll see we're going to talk about five different geese we're going to talk about five different honeys and every show we're going to talk about four or five different brands because we do not believe endorsing one brand because there are so many brands doing great work out there and what we're further going to do is I'm going to talk about the product I'm going to talk about what's good about this product the brand and when in our show notes every farmer that I talk about today is going to engage with you is going to talk to you and tell you about their process behind what they do so what we're trying to build is transparency so it's easy for everyone to believe me if I say hey this product is great and everyone will start doing it no but I want to connect you to the farmers so that the farmers can directly tell you what they do how they grow their product what they're using how they're making it sustainable and so we have transparency and we involve ourselves in the process from farm right up to table and that is our intention behind the holistic health show on the Holistic Health Show, we'll talk about products. We'll be introducing phenomenal personalities that are doing great work in the field of health, wellness. We want to talk about everything which you can add 
to your life to enhance your health to prevent disease to recover and just b basically build a better new generation so to start off with we, we want to talk about basic foods let me talk about superfoods whenever you've named or you've labeled the food as a superfood there's only one thing it means you're going to spend a lot more money for that so today for example PO ghee has become a superfood that term is coined in the West and in our own country we end up spending a lot of money because it's already been coined as a superfood but in India we've been using pure ghee across the country as a staple fat medium to cook and we need to go back to that medium because pure ghee although a saturated fat is one of the healthiest one of the healthiest fat mediums especially for Indian cooking where we cook our foods longer it's got a high smoke point so I've been looking out for some of the best pure geese across the country. I don't have time on the show to talk about many of them. I've picked a couple that we already use. There are more than that. And we're going to teach you how to read labels so that you can make the best purchase. You can interact with the farmers and the vendors in the show notes and then you can make your decision on what you want to buy. You see our mindsets in today's world has been fixed with very clever marketing and social media and all of these things. You know, we're cleverly tricked into buying a particular product. But now we want to empower you with the knowledge so you can use your own mind and your own wisdom to decide what you need and which brand you should buy. So we don't make that decision for you we empower you you engage with your farmers and vendors and then you make the best decision that you want to so I'm going to start off with Piogi and we've got so many brands out there in the market doing it the right way you get the hydrogenated Piogi which is very very cheap in most supermarkets it's hydrogenated Pio, it's hydrogenated ghee and that is absolutely absolutely bad for your heart your cholesterol your inflammation when you are using Piogi yes it is going to cost you a little more money but the best part of it is a lot of Indian families also make it at home so everything is not about buying a product you can go back to the age-old wisdom of making PO ghee at home using the right quality of milk so I have a brand and what we're trying to do is encourage brands to move from plastic to glass a lot of brands that you see today and over the next couple of shows they started off in plastic and they listened to us and we helped them understand that we should move to glass and these brands are very concerned about the environment and they moved immediate immediately to glass and that's how we all work together to basically you know protect our environment and create education and awareness not just about the food that we put in our body but the environment because you can be eating the best food but if you have a crappy environment a polluted environment around us it doesn't matter what you feed yourself because the external environment has every impact on our internal environment and our internal environment is what keeps us free from a disease or basically starts disease so Pio Ghee, I've come across a brand called Adia that, do, that does the Gear Cow Ghee, well packed in a glass bottle, sustainable, okay? Now every one of these vendors who come to us, they come to us with certifications. We have the FSSAI go through every single certification of all of these products. We do not accept products that do not have the right certifications. Now I know there's a lot about the organic certification and yes, it's a big scam in our country, but now we are working with government officials to basically bring transparency on the organic certification so you can't get an organic certification on your farms immediately it takes years but while the FSSAI and group certification groups go and audit farms they give them a temporary certification so that they can start their process and they usually get the certification within two years three years four years or five years so just slapping organic an organic label on your bottle doesn't make it authentic we need to understand that and we need to move more into ethical farming ethical goods and ethical foods so we have a pure brand of ghee over here and like I said this is one great brand we came across we've come across two brothers farms and they've been so transparent about their process from the way they milk their cows to the way that they process the pure ghee and everything else these are all available online but we're not here to connect you to them we want them to connect with you so in the show, show notes the farmers are going to let you know how you can approach them how you can visit their farms how you can buy their products because we want you involved in the entire process from farm to table and that's how we make it authentic so two brothers is doing great work when it comes to pure ghee 
I have a zero wastage brand called Satwick that is also do doing PO Ghee and they're in glass bottles. Most of these brands today have a market even abroad where people from across the world are ordering these PO Ghees into their countries. So what I'm trying to say is there are so many brands. These are just three of them right now. We have Shop for Change which is doing fantastic work. work. One of the first free trade brands in the, in the country that connects directly with the farmers and all of the money goes directly to the farmers as well packed in glass bottles pure ghee when you open it you smell it you use it in your cooking you know that quality matters over quantity any particular day now we all understand that the prices on most of these products today are higher but my question to you is quality costs money and we've been fooled for the longest time we all move to refined oils because they're cheap and you we move away from cold pressed oils and all of these things and it affects our health in the long term but we need to understand that when we support our farmers when we support them and we give them volume sales they are able to lower their price at some point because there is no middleman making all of the margins so the more that we support our farmers guess what at some point the prices are actually going to come down lower and lower because they don't have to bear marketing costs and all of these other costs that other brands basically do so these are like four kinds of geese different brands and like i said there are more and more brands pouring in the more we explore the goodness of our own country so we want to connect you to them and we want you to make the right choices and the right transition from you know particular ghees which are highly refined to the right cooking medium for you we all know that pure ghee is used as medicine in ayurveda today right from your immune system to your microbiome and your gut to your hair to your skin it's fabulous but We've done separate videos on the health benefits of ghee, which we will also post in the show notes. Let's move to the next product. A lot of people think they're using the right honey. Honey, great product, but if it is not done the right way, it is nothing but sugar. When you buy honey, it's got to be written, it's got to be certified as raw, unpasteurized, unfiltered honey. If it's just got organic honey written on it, okay, it is not raw and it is not unpasteurized. So when you buy pure honey, you want to look out for raw, unpasteurized. So we've been looking for several brands because we use honey as medicine. With young children, of course, after the age of one or two, it's got antimicrobial properties, antibiotic properties. We use it for adults with low immunity, colds, coughs, flus. It's been, as a, it's been used as a medicine across civilizations for decades. But if you're using the, the normal refined honey filled with sugar, okay, that's only going to you know, wreak havoc, havoc with your insulin levels, your fat, and everything else. So quality and the right, the, the right uh, brands of food is extremely, extremely important for you. So I've come across two or three. In fact, I've come across 15 to 20 different honey brands across our country. We're going to talk about one or two of them. Today I have a brand called Satwick, which has wild honey. And look how clearly it's written. Unprocessed raw and natural. And when you look at the quality of honey, when you buy this, you'll notice there's sedimentation. It's thicker than normal refined and processed honey. So if you want to use honey as medicine, this is the kind of honey you use. So you explore now. Like I said, these are I have another brand, again, Shop for Change, that is reaching out directly to beekeepers and farmers who are basically taking honey straight out of the hives and without any processing, without any adulteration, putting them in bottles and getting them certified the right way. So all that money goes straight straight back to the farmers. So we're not just supporting our economy and our farmers, but we're putting good food into our system. So the way to read labels is extremely important. Just don't go and buy a famous brand of honey. You want to look out for unprocessed and natural. And some people say, well, it's organic. It doesn't matter if it's organic. You want to look for raw, unpasteurized, and basically unfiltered honey. And that is going to be the medicine that you use. Of course, every food that I'm talking about today, you want to make an informed decision whether it's going to suit you or not suit you. Now, I want to talk about amla powder. Now, this is something that I call our own Indian superfood. Okay, amla is the Indian gooseberry. You think diabetes, you think cholesterol, you think better hair, skin, your gut, your immune system. Okay, Indian gooseberry. We grew up on chewing on these little Indian berries and it is a powerful immune booster with more vitamin C than oranges, kiwi fruits and all of that stuff. So we sourced amla powder because as you know, India is the diabetic capital of the world and we came across several brands who are doing pure unadulterated amla powder and they have all they're all getting their certifications approved so I found a company called happy healthy me that 
claims they're 100% organic, 100% delicious as well, good packaging, no plastic, and the only ingredient is organic amla powder. There's no sugar, there's no sweetener, there's no salt added to it. What I like about this product is they've listed the health benefits, how to use it, transparent, clean, the nutritional label is completely listed. So by looking at this product, I don't only have a good product, I can educate myself. It's given me simple recipes, how I can make a green smoothie, how I can use it for children to boost their immune system. So when you buy a good product, a lot of products fool you with their fancy you know, designs and their bright packaging and their expensive packaging because they wanna divert your mind off the food label. But a healthy product will educate you on how to use the product and how it's gonna, uh, how it's gonna basically break down into your system. So Amla powder, when it comes to diabetes, when it comes to everything we've done a video we post that video as well uh, together you want to connect with these vendors and find out what their process is and then if it suits you you want to start doing it Satwick, they move from plastic to glass they're a zero wastage company today they have a zero wasted shop in Pune they've opened one in New Delhi and they're available online everything we talk about is available online directly with the farmers connecting you directly with the farmers so what you spend goes directly to the farmers no middleman at all so we got pure organic uh, amla powder the only ingredient is organic amla powder I was in the US a couple of months ago and I found amla powder and it had maltodextrin in and it had salt in and you don't need all of that stuff what we need to work as medicine is plain pure amla powder beautifully put with directions how to use precautions not to use it during pregnancies and all of these things I like the transparency and I like the honesty of these brands and we as consumers should be able to ask as many questions as we want directly to the farmers and directly to the vendors who create these products because then you get transparency and then you take the product with faith and then you start buying more of those products because we know we're not being fooled so we're going to connect you with every one of these vendors and you can feel free to ask them as many questions as you want now I call this the great Indian sugar I'm talking about jaggery you know before the British moved into India the only sweetener that India knew of was pure jaggery okay pure jaggery was also called poor man's chocolate it still is in most villages across India they finish a meal and they have a piece of pure jaggery that melts in your mouth have you ever tried cutting a piece of pure jaggery after your meal and just putting it into your mouth and it melts like chocolate in your mouth and then your brain already gets a signal of pleasure and guess what you don't crave more dessert you don't crave anything more and jaggery comes loaded with iron and phosphorus and zinc and all of these things but don't go crazy over jaggery if you're diabetic because it still behaves like a sugar in your body with your insulin and your blood sugar levels but it is way healthier than refined sugar because number one it's not refined it is processed naturally and it comes with all of the vitamins and minerals in it because it's not been refined refined sugar is an empty calorie that ferments in your body and creates inflammation and all the issues that we have today people today are baking with jaggery they're adding it to their tea and coffee we did a simple experiment with 40 people who had a cup of tea with white sugar every single day one day we told the housekeeping not to put sugar in and just to put jaggery in. and we served them this tea and coffee for a week not one of the consumers knew there was a difference so you see our mindsets are involved in this you can make a simple transition from white sugar in your tea and your coffee to pure jaggery I found a brand and this brand has organic jaggery sugar okay uh, I think uh, uh, it's well packaged right now it's in a sugar form you can carry it with you they've listed health benefits and I know for sure women with menstrual problems I mean this is a part of all of our you know uh, coaching with women young girls who go through menstrual cramps we tell them to have jaggery with a little bit of sesame seeds about a week before their period cycle starts and the pain disappears like this you can use it as a blood purifier it is fantastic to have before you go to sleep and it's a great substitute to refined sugar like I said so we have a fantastic brand over here sugar cane jaggery which is specifying their process their benefits no additives no preservatives it's gluten free it's chemical free 100% natural and remember every brand that we talk about you can ask them for their certifications they are open to it we want everyone to be transparent so that we can have food with faith I have another brand of jaggery this is in a powdered form so it makes it easier for us to add it to our teas and coffees but here I have a brand this is two brothers farms Amor Earth and they have a jaggery cake 
basically the block of jaggery when it's processed is put into molds so you have like this block and this is something that we use at home because after a meal we cut off a little bit it's a nice block you got to put it back in the fridge because it melts really quickly and you cut a little bit of this and you put it in your mouth it melts like chocolate and you lose every single craving for every dessert that you may crave for after a meal I'm not saying you have to stop desserts but if you crave it every day and you're eating it every day you may want to find a substitute so this is great you can use this in your, the laddus that you make and the bars that you make you can add this to cereal you can add this to so many different things so all i'm trying to say is while we're getting more and more addicted to white sugar here in our own country we have something like jaggery which is today sold as a superfood across the world in our country we've had it for the longest time can we get back to using it of course there are a lot of jaggery brands which put a lot of chemicals in the processing and it's highly processed which is why you should ask your farmers and your vendors what you need to do. So today we talk about gluten intolerance and everyone is just dumping wheat out of our diets for the right reasons for many people, for the wrong reasons for most people. We need to understand that gluten is a very tough protein molecule. Now, the, the valid question that comes to most minds, including mine, is that 10, 15, 20 years ago, the staple diet for many states in our country was pure wheat and people didn't have a problem like we have today. So do we blame the wheat or do we blame our digestive systems? Both of them. If you have a weak digestive system, gluten Gluten is a tough molecule, it will irritate your gut and you will have all the symptoms to do with autoimmune, allergies, bloating, acidity and everything else. And again, the way that you process wheat, for this I reached out to farmers across the country and I asked them, why are people getting allergic to wheat? You know, when this was a staple food and the farmers say that our processing has changed. A lot of the big companies that want wheat from us, they don't give us time to do it the right way, to shade dry it, to wash it, to clean it. The moment the wheat's produced, there are tons that are put onto the truck and taken straight to the mills to be processed. So we're looking at ultra processed wheat in the market that is stripped of most, most of the goodness. And that's why we have an issue with it. But when you go back to the farmers, I wanted to find out what the farmers eat and the farmers eat Eat wheat which doesn't have a problem they eat something called coupley wheat or emma wheat now this emma wheat or coupley wheat may makes your roti a little bit heavier a little more darkish red darkish brown but apparently the consumer markets like light colors they like bright colors the rotis look a little whitish and a little brownish and that's what they like so the farmers continue to eat wheat the right way and they have no problems of gluten intolerance and any of those issues so we started reaching out directly to the farmers to find out how we can get coupley wheat or emma wheat directly to the markets and we found so many people again i've come across two brands one of them is shop for change that's getting it directly from the farmers this is emma wheat and we've tried it on several people who were gluten intolerant not celiac celiac means you cannot have it but gluten intolerant you were eating wheat at some point all of a sudden you couldn't eat it again and then what we did is we tried moving them from the normal ultra processed wheat to the coupley and the emma wheat and we found that they didn't have any of the problems because the gluten molecule in coupley wheat is much much weaker so when we build up their digestive systems and we change the quality of the wheat guess what they can eat it without a problem then we have two brothers farm again amor earth who's doing organic emma wheat called coupley flour and well packed they have all their certifications in place and we're going to connect them directly with you feel free to engage with them find out their processing what they do and everything else we asked them about the plastic and they said it's hundred percent food grade quality plastic we're empowering our farmers to slowly move completely from plastic to sustainable packaging and everyone is eager to do that because everyone is eager to save our environment so we've gone through a couple of products today we, we spoke about ghee honey jaggery amla powder there is so much more so much more and on every show we're gonna come up with new different brands brands and different foods what I what my intention of the show is whatever you need from a toothbrush to your toothpaste to your flow cleaners to your oils to your bed sheets to everything that we need to live a healthy sustainable life we are aggressively searching for those brands who are doing it ethically and when we connect with these brands the one term and condition is very simple they have to be transparent not with me not with my company but with the consumers they have to be transparent answer questions share certifications and that's how we build a sustainable pure and honest 
food chain in our country because as we get sicker and sicker and pollution is at its high time right now pesticides and all of these things it's not my responsibility it's not the farmers responsibility it's all of our responsibilities to come together and support an ethical sustainable food chain so we're going to keep discussing more and more products like I said these are a few brands I've found there are so many more read the label engage with them if you feel they're not being transparent with you drop them you want transparency if you're doing it the right way if you're doing something ethical we should not be ashamed of sharing what works for us so as a right to it as a consumer just don't look for a certification ask about it challenge it talk about it so that you have more faith in what you do and that way each and every one of us all of us together you what's what what we're going to do is facilitate change farmers vendors everyone's going to know that Wow, the consumers are asking for this information. So we better start providing it or we better change the way that we, you know, package and, you know, produce our products and we, may, we, we might as well make it ethical because every consumer has the right to that information. So every brand out there that's doing fantastic, fabulous work that I come across, it could be in India, it could be across the world. We're going to bring those products. We're going to bring those brands on the, on the show. And they could be 10, 15 brands of the same thing. Now you decide, you with your wisdom with the knowledge that we share with your communication with the vendors and farmers you use your wisdom and you decide which of these products should be in your household and how it can benefit your health have a great day everyone until next time eat smart move more sleep right and breathe deep